Today, we'll be showing you our Loctite PC7218 wearing compound. PC7218 is a trailable compound that protects against sliding abrasion. You can use it to rebuild and protect chutes, pump housings, elbows, existing lining systems, cyclones, and material handling equipment in the iron ore, gold, nickel, lithium, and coal mining industries. PC7218 comes packed with powerful features such as high bond strength, fast curing, chemical resistance, temperature resistance, an improved formula, abrasion and wear resistance, and it's Australian made. First, we'll need to grab our PPE. This includes gloves, eye protection, respiratory protection, protective clothing and footwear protection. Additionally, ensure good ventilation in the work area to minimise inhalation of fumes. Use fans or work outdoors if possible. Next, gather your materials. You'll need the resin, hardener, mixing plate and stirring tool, which are all included with the Loctite PC7218 product kit. Correct surface preparation is crucial for the successful application of both metal repair products and protective coatings or compounds. The two most important factors for a successful application are surface profile and surface cleanliness. The best way to achieve the correct surface profile is by using abrasive blasting. It not only removes visible surface rust and contaminants, but also creates the ideal surface roughness for bonding. This improves adhesion by increasing surface area and providing a keyed anchor pattern. Pre-clean the surface using SF7840 before abrasive blasting and after using an appropriate solvent like Terrason VR10. After blasting, remove any debris with compressed air to ensure a clean, dust-free surface for application. On hardened ceramics, surface abrasion is very difficult. In this case, we recommend cleaning the surface with a good quality water-based or solvent-based industrial grade cleaner, degreaser and allow the surface to dry completely. Surface cleanliness is another important factor when preparing a surface. Chemical contaminants that are not readily visible, such as chlorides and sulphates, attract moisture through coating systems, resulting in premature failure. For this reason, it is important to clean all substrates with an industrial strength cleaner and degreaser. Alternatively, heating the device before cleaning can facilitate the removal of contaminants. When measuring out the appropriate amounts of the resin and hardener, ensure you follow the recommended 2 to 1 ratio. Best practice is to mix the entire kit or divide part A and part B in equal halves if a smaller quantity is required. If mixing the whole kit, the larger black bucket can be used to combine part B into part A. Make sure to mix thoroughly. Use a stirring tool to mix the components together, ensuring you scrape the sides and bottom of the container to achieve a uniform consistency. If a stirring tool is not available, mixing by hand is possible. This can be done by using a trowel or spatula to fold the two parts together on a mixing board. Now the mixture has been made, make sure to check the consistency. The mixture should be homogeneous and free of streaks or lumps. If any inconsistencies are present, continue mixing until a uniform grey colour is achieved. Once mixing is complete, spread the product out in a thin layer, making sure to apply the adhesive promptly, as it will begin to set depending on temperature. Before the mixture dries, visually inspect for pinholes and any missed areas. Once the coating is cured, repeat visual inspection to confirm absence of pinholes, voids or damaged areas. If repairs are needed after application, we recommend lightly abrading, cleaning and then applying further product to the needed areas. After application of the adhesive, 
Be sure to clean any tools or spills immediately with the appropriate solvents. After seven hours, the surface will be cured and ready for use. Thanks for watching our how-to video on PC7218, and we hope you learned something new. If you're interested in learning more, please contact us to arrange a Surface Engineering Solutions Workshop.